Here we are with the Sweet CRM series where we're learning how to install, configure, and use the Sweet CRM software. What we're going to do today is look at how to customize the All menu at the top up here. That looks like it has everything thrown in there, and it should, but uh, even the startup version of this doesn't have everything in it. There are a lot of things in it that I don't use, I don't like, and um, they're definitely in the order that I find annoying. So I'm going to show you how to change this and customize it for yourself. Now point at this little guy, but don't click on him. And it'll drop down your menu. And then click on admin. You'll have to be logged in as admin. And whatever the admin name is will show up here. This is going to take you to the administration area. We've talked about this before in passing. It's grouped by users, system, email, developer tools, where you'll spend a lot of your time, Google Maps, advanced open admin, and bugs. Go back up to developer tools, and there are two areas you'll spend a lot of time in, display modules and sub-panels, configure module menu filters. Not a lot of time, but you'll use them. And that's to configure the menus at the top. We've talked about configure module menu filters in another video, where you can customize what these menus are at the top, and what they contain and what order they appear in. You can even make your own. But now we want to look at the All menu. And uh, that is accessed through Display Modules and Subpanels. So click on that. You will confuse the two. So you have to come back to the video to clear that up. When you get there, you'll find this area displayed modules and hidden modules, but you'll also find the subpanels. Don't worry about it, we'll come back to that later when it's relevant to the context. Right now we're just dealing with the All menu, and that's where the modules are displayed. It's in the order that you see up here, Home, Business Hours, Accounts, Leads, exactly the same as over here. But you'll find some others over here that don't show up, those are hidden, because they're on the right side. And this is drag and drop. So let's say, let's say you want to see spots. You click it and hold it down and drag it across to wherever you want it to be in the menu. Let go. When you hit save, now after contacts, you're going to find spots. Okay, At the all menu, you find contacts, spots. Now let's say you go, well, I really don't want it there. I want to move it up under accounts. So you click on spots and drag it. And you'll see there's a faint gray word spots underneath it, showing where it's going to be. When you let go, then it shows the black one and it's done. You can hit save. That's how you do it. It's that simple. So you can take nearly everything you want out of there and you can reorder however you want to do it. It's yours. Now when this checkbox is marked, that'll allow the users to create their own custom all menu. If you don't want them to have their own custom all menu and you want everyone to have the same, then you unmark that. But if you mark it, they'll be able to do it themselves. And if you click the little I, it'll give you information. When selected, users will be able to choose which module tabs are visible by managing the tabs within their user settings. Same area that you did. Their username will be here. And that's it. And this, of course, their, their menu and their uh, system will be limited as to what they can do. But by marking this, it allows them to have this same kind of access to the All menu, but only their own All menu. And that's how you customize the All menu for either All users or for your individual purpose. Just hit Save to make sure that it takes. Let's break for a few seconds just to promote Small Guy on Top. I hope you learned a lot from our videos and that you will go to our site at smallguyontop.com for articles and downloadable materials. Please subscribe to our Daily Motion and YouTube channels. YouTube and Daily Motion.